by creating a new study by right-clicking on the 2004 Prius motor. Change the analysis type to transient magnetic and name the study as no load analysis cogging torque. Check the compute circuit parameters option. Define the time duration, the start, and, and step time. In the coupling analysis, check rotational motion. Keep the motion settings as constant velocity. Define the angular velocity as 500 degrees per second and the initial angle to zero degree. The previously defined rotor angle global variable is selected in the motion coupling. In the moving components, select the rotor subassembly, while the band part in the band component section. In the 2D geometry tab, define the local coordinate system and set the model length to 83.6 mm, then select OK. First, apply the air material to the air region, the band, and also the shaft. Now, apply the new DO material to the magnets. To define the coercivity direction of the magnets, right-click on the magnet surface and select coercivity direction. In the coordinate system, select the corresponding coordinate system. You can check show preview to preview the magnetization direction of the magnet. Define the Cartesian direction in the Y direction and select OK. In the same way, define the other coercivity directions for the remaining magnets. Right-click on the rotor and stator cores and assign the M19 material from the Material Browser folder. Right-click on the coils and apply the copper material. Right-click on the load restraint and select the magnetic vector potential. In the Select Entities tab, select the outer edge of the outer air region and keep the magnetic vector potential value null. Right-click on the forces torques and select virtual work. 
In Select Faces, select the moving parts which are the rotor and the PMs, for which you want to compute the torque. In the first torque settings, check Compute Torque, then click on OK. Right click on Mesh and select Create Mesh, then click on OK to start meshing the model. Once the model is meshed, you can right-click on the study and select Run to run the simulation. Once the study is solved, you can view the results. Right-click on the results table and select Show the results table. This will introduce you to a variety of results. For instance, you can plot the torque versus the time. To do so, select the Show Torque value and click on Add. Then click on Pop-up Plot. By clicking on Listing, you can access the time and torque points. Click on the magnetic flux density to plot the magnetic field for the initial position corresponding to zero degree. You can also right click on it and select animate to show the magnetic flux density for different time steps. Click on the magnetic field and density to plot it. To plot the magnetic vector potential, right click on the magnetic vector potential, select counter line plot, then no clipping. You can also change the time step for which you want to observe the results. Right-click on the Magnetic Flux Density folder and select 2D Plot, then Linear. 
Select the point on one magnet in the definition and click on Compare Results, then Discrete Points. You can also view the magnetic flux density and time points by clicking on listing. You can do the same process to view the magnetic flux density in other points, like in the air gap. You can also generate a study report by right-clicking on Reports and selecting Generate. Select the items to be shown in the report from the list. Choose the report format which can be either HTML or Word. Once the study report is generated, you can go through its different sections presented in the table of contents. Reaching this step, well done! And remember, you can still follow the rest of this video series by clicking on the next video from the previous video series.